All right, Sunflower, come on. We are back off into the fields, the snowy ice fields. Oh, and look at our little Christmas forest. Oh, memories, memories. And look, see, this is so cool. The Christmas forest that we made for the 2014 Christmas year is full of animals now. Ah, oh, this is the joy of terraforming. You put down, oh, come on, let's get a closer look, Sunflower. Hello, sheepies, may I borrow your wool? I promise it goes to good purposes. Promise, promise, promise. There's plenty of delicious grass right here to provide, uh, like food for you. And this, oh, this is where all of our, our little mushrooms went from before. And I am really, I love it. I love how beautiful it is here. It's just a nice peaceful forest that we built to celebrate one of our, our Christmases together. There we go, woo! Sunflower, look at all of them. But it's so fun because before we planted all these trees, it was just an empty, like flat, dead ice plant like this. And now that we planted the trees, look at all the life that's come into it. Sheep, and I see a, a cheetah of all things. Oh, and I hear mammoths calling to each other as they eat from the branches. Ah, oh, I love terraforming. I love providing more life for this land to be able to, to pick from. But we are off looking today for a very particular kind of life, and that would be... Ooh, look at that big giant hole, Sunflower. And that would be... Some penguins. I'm trying to keep a close eye out. There's the polar bears. There's the wee little tree I'm trying to grow. Let's see. Does that mean that we just passed... Yeah, we should have just passed my little outpost. Yeah, there's our little outpost right there. You go, outpost. Has my mushroom spread yet? Not yet. It might be too light. I, I have to study the science of growing mushrooms on leaves much more dutifully before I understand it entirely. But we ran into so many... Oh, 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 oh. Goodbye, piggy. Can I get the meat for my... my... There we go. Whoa, and back up we go. Just stole his lunch. But we need it for my, my dogs, so I think it'll be okay. It's interesting to observe how the polar bears go for the pigs more than they seem to go for the cows. I wonder if that indicates that's just like where they get their nutrients, or maybe it's an easier kill. Alright, let's see. Speaking of which, here's a nice little area. <gasps> oh, I see Mama right over there, so Mom's probably hunting for her baby. But, oh, where'd it go? big fierce little kitten hiding in the snow over here a little snow leopard I bet its mom is right over there trying to do a bit of hunting for it all right it's not gonna be very warm but let's put down our bed for the night oh I forgot to heal up our, our moonworm queen oh hello hello very much mammoth how are you doing <laughs> that wasn't worrying whatsoever all right let's do that all right sunflower well, the wee little baby is going to be okay. Tiny baby snow leopard. Isn't that fun? And its mom is nearby. I saw it. And she's probably hunting for her baby. So we won't disturb them. Did we do indeed, Sunflower? Sometimes it's about collecting animals so that we can take them back uh, and create amazing exhibits to educate people about that animal or even remove the animal from dangerous situations. Oh, look, there's another juvenile. It's a little bit bigger. Is he going to do his first hunt? Are we observing his first hunt here? It's a showdown. What's going to happen? He doesn't seem to know how to how to manage with the pig yet. The pig seems unconcerned and con is content to snack on wild arctic strawberries and pineapple. <laughs> I don't think the pig's much at risk right now. The little one still has much to learn. But yeah, other times... <gasps> Penguins! Here we go! Other times, we just show up here so that we can study the animals in the area. Like the penguin sunflower! I imagine they are distant cousins of yours. Alright, so let's check these guys out. Hello, Emperor Penguin! Hello, how are you? Really? Well, you just tell me about it. I have a whole bunch, all these safari nuts, the, re the single use, we're gonna try to fill <laughs> with penguins, and we're gonna give them to Mara. And I promise you, Mara is going to take excellent care of you. You have nothing to worry about, sir. All right, there's one down. There we go. King penguin! A king penguin. It was called an emperor penguin earlier. Do we have two different types of penguins? 
I wonder if Mara would mind having two types. Woo, slippery ice. Hello. They don't seem to have much uh, concept of pre like predators. They don't run from me at all. Hang on, sunflower. There's some of your kind down here. Oh, it looks like a little figure in a suit, but it's just another penguin. That's so cool. Let's go get sunflower and put her down here so she can like the dweed woo at some of the wild chocobo while we get to work. Do do. Hey, sweetie, I'm coming. Also, I don't want to leave you unattended. I know, right? In case a big old polar bear comes. That would be so bad. I don't want you to get eaten by polar bears. All right, let's see. Where was I going? Was it? Ah, there they are. There we go, Sunflower. What do you think? What do you think? They've got a nice little alcove over here, so you hang out with them. Mom's going to slide across the ice there. Climb up here. Oh, I love it. Even though it seems so desolate and empty. Oh, my goodness. And clearly there's evidence of skeletons having been here. It is nice just to be able to see like the beauty of the land and how the animals adapt to it. Look at that beautiful tree. Wonderful. See, there's another mother and daughter, or, well, you know, mother and child set of of those guys, of the snow leopards. Hello, my friend. Are you a king penguin too? And you too? And them too? Nice. Oh, hello, little arctic fox. Are you hiding? The arctic fox using its camouflage to hide in the snow. Hi, sweetie. Oh, that's fun. All right, so let's see. Not in Lily's pack. Three penguins. Swap this out. We'll go dash around and collect a whole bunch of them really quick. There we go, just in case. Put on my armor, just in case. It's not very warm. Steel leaf armor is quite cold on the, the body when we're on the Arctic here. All right, be careful not to reuse the ones I pick them up with. Hi, buddy. Mara's going to love all of you, and we will provide to Mara... Uh, we should probably get her lots of fish, too. Yes, because that's what they eat. And that's actually how you tame penguins. You can indeed tame them. So we should definitely get Mara some fish. I bet Tate and Holly would be happy to help me out with that. And actually, I don't think I've ever properly sat down with, like, a, a nice little fishing rod and just fished. <gasps> I wonder if Persephone would be willing to enchant a fishing rod for me. We should check. That would be so cool to just, like, do a bit of fishing. It would be very rude to deliver an entire colony of penguins onto Mara's doorstep and then be like, haha, good luck feeding them, and run off. That would be very rude indeed. Alright, let's climb down here. Look at the ice. Ooh, I wonder what's down there. We do have to collect a bunch of the ice too so that she ma can make like a little glacier. Oh, look at that. That's probably where that little hole leads. Alright, got you. Slide our way across carefully. Hello, my friend. Don't worry. You're all going to be part of Mara's family. She's going to love you. You're going to love her. It's going to be awesome. I can't believe we're getting our 20 emperor penguins. No, wait, look. There are two different kinds. King and emperor. What? Okay, we're going to have to get... Let's get the reusable just to pick them up so that we can observe like the differences between the two. Now we're doing some proper field study. Ah, I feel my biologist powers activating trying to understand the differences between animals that otherwise may seem very similar. I think we may have cleared the area out of penguins, though. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, there's that little little snow leopard. Hmm. All right, got to find more penguins. Sunflower, darling, are you done visiting with family? Distant family. I wonder what they think of your golden plumage. Did we do? Did we do indeed, my dear? I know. I love you too, Sunflower. All right, let's see. Where are we going? To find more penguins, which is probably just as easily done on foot. And she runs. Sunflower is a really good runner. I wonder if you prefer racing or flying, Sunflower. A million and a half sheep around here. A few cows. Mammoths roaming about, which is quite cool. Look at these trees. And the sheep there are taking shelter under them. Big old giant trees, too. All right, let's see. Come across here. Aha! More penguins! Oh, pardon me, Arctic Fox. Trust me, that was just as much a, a bit of a startling discovery for me, too. So, what do we have here? Is this a king penguin? No, this is an emperor penguin. But I could swear they look the same to me as the king penguins we found. So, what about you? Emperor or king? Whoops. Sorry, buddy. I gotta put you in here. So, emperor penguin. 
So now we have two more penguins of the emperor variety. Oh, and a polar bear who is trying to eat me and or the penguins. Hmm. All right, emperor, emperor. Yeah, you can stay over there, buddy. He's got some sort of itch on his rump, it seems, and he can he can deal with it over there. All right, sunflower, hang on. Here. Let me see. There we go. That's better. Now I've got a free hand to grab the reins of her little her little saddle. Hello, you two. I gotta be cautious. There's more polar bears. Oh, sunflower! Yeah! Right out of the, uh, right out of time there. <laughs> that was good timing on my part and her part. Goodness, that could have ended uh, a little bit painfully. All right. Well, we got out of the way. Looks like those two are just gonna have to fend for themselves. All right. What's going on over here? Look at those polar bears trying to blend in. Hey, hey! None of your nonsense. That's right. Back off. I see you eating all these sheepies. Look, there's evidence of your, your ravenous hunger everywhere. Oh, jeez. Polar bears. I think there's way too many. They're going to, like, outcompete each other and end up starving. Oh, look at the sheep go down. Those other two are just, like, <laughs> confused on if he has camouflage and he, too, is a sheep. Oh, look at him. He's just going through the whole flock. There's no mercy. They they must be going mad. They're not even eating out of hunger. They're just slaughtering everything in sight. Why? All right. Well, whoops. And yeah, there's just so many. Oh my gosh. Look at the babies. Babies. Ah, so cute. So cute. And also still being pursued by polar bears. This is ridiculous. I am not expected to be chased hither and thither, like not even getting a good chance to do any any observation of the field. Like I need more penguins. All right, there's the timber forest where the Dalmatians most likely are, and a bazillion and a half wild Arctic sheep that I could collect a ton of wool from. There is a very concerning polar bear. Here's a good lake we could potentially collect some ice from. Aha! Now here's what we're looking for, a good little colony of penguins to round off our collection. Why well, hello little arctic fox, I really don't see you until I practically step on you it seems. Alright, so king penguin or emperor penguin. Now emperor penguin again, so I'm very befuddled because I have no idea what the difference is between the emperor penguin and the king penguin. Hello you two, you two. But it appears we have several emperor penguins. And let's see, just need two more. And that'll make 20. Come here, my friend. And my last friend. And now to run for my life. Just a normal day in the zoo. Running for your life from polar bears. Okay, he's not so inclined to chase me over here. So somehow we ended up with two different types of penguin, despite the fact they looked identical to me. If I hadn't, like, if I had extra reusable safari or single use safari nuts, I would pop one out and study the king penguin versus the emperor penguin. But I do not for now. So let's see. There's the timber area. Let's go over in the timber area, which is more lacking. Oh, good. And some of sunflowers relatives, which is more lacking in polar bears. And we'll put down our bed to sleep. And then we'll get to work gathering up the ice and snow that we're going to give to Mara. So that she can go and she can have like a happy little, oh, there goes a the chicken. Well, at least it's lacking in predators that want to eat me. But then we can give it to Mara, and she will be able to enjoy having some of her... There we go. Enjoy having some of her, her wonderful penguins. She just loves penguins. Alright, there we go. Um, and I wonder if mole fingers would be any good. I could make a bunch of snow. A bunch of snow, like, blocks. Alright, Sunflower, we're going back across the way. Hello, hello, Sunflower family. How are you doing? And let's see. Let's go find a good little secluded area we can work in. Ooh, string! This river might be good. Ah, yeah, this river might work out okay for gathering the ice from. But it might make, like, the water flow be really weird. Alright, stay here, Sunflower. I'm going to check out what's going on over here. If it's just a wee little ice cave, which it seems to be, I should be able to peck all the ice out of here no problem. There we go. All right. And then Mara can have a little glacier, a little iceberg of her own that she can build in the future. And Vainua, 
No lucky means. We're also get managing to gather up quite a bit of fossils while we're here. There. Come here. Come here, Ice. You're going to be so useful. I think and bat pick is so useful, too. Very important for useful tools to have a name. There we go. You know, and I like the glorious grafter. I mean, it's one thing to say, I have a really cool axe. It gives me lots of saplings. But it's a whole other thing to be like, Behold! The glorious grafter and its amazingness. No longer will you only get one sapling from an entire giant jungle tree. No. With this beauty, you will have like five at least. In fact, we do need to go and find a jungle. And we need to uh, collect a few jungle saplings. Because uh, we, we never have any jungle saplings. And you can graft the saplings to make many of the parms, pams, not parms, pams, harvest craft bits and pieces. Uh, like the saplings, the more tropical based ones. So it would be very nifty if we also had on hand, oops, there we go. If we had on hand a whole bunch of jungle saplings we could use. That's one of the reasons the Glorious Grafter is so useful. And we should also go, what other rare trees should we gather up with the Glorious Grafter? So it can prove its worth, prove its deep value of being able to produce um, a lot of, of just really cool saplings. Magic saplings. We're low on magic saplings. When we go to get the quest ram, we should definitely collect as many of the rainbow oaks as we feel is appropriate. They're very rare. I don't want to, like, deforest the area. I wonder, you know, I wonder if a rainbow oak acorn would be rainbow. Wouldn't that be cool? Like a little psychedelic acorn just, like, flashing all these different colors. I wonder if the rainbow oaks have anything to do with the quest ram. Like, if he's in charge of them. Kind of like if you've ever seen Spirited Away. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Alright. There we go, Sunflower. That was actually quite successful. And it made me work up quite an appetite. So let's go ahead and eat a little bit of strawberry salad. You want some? I'll share a couple strawberries with you. Very good. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they're very good vitamin C. So you should enjoy it, Sunflower. Alright. So we've got a bit of ice. But come on, Mara's presents are always so epic. And they're always so, like detailed and intense. Ooh, look at this area. I forgot that we came up with, along this area. Wow. Very cool. And penguins. It's interesting that there's so many penguins here to me, too. Let's see if we can find, like, a cave or chasm. I say as we find a cave or chasm. <laughs> because I can collect the ice from here a lot better than the ice from, say, um... Yeah, I can collect that ice. Then from like a, a river or a lake. Because those tend to like mess up the water sources. And I don't think that the penguins would very much appreciate it if I like made it so the current was too strong in the river. And every time they try to go get some fish, they get swept off. No, I wouldn't I would much appreciate that either. Oh, I heard the sound of skeletons. Oh, I hear the sound of lava. Oh, I'm sitting on top of a big chasm. Hang on, look at the map. Okay, that way apparently. That way. <laughs> yeah, I hear them. I know sunflower. That's what I mean. When you're in the field, you need to make sure you keep all your senses sharp. This is a world that is based around survival after all. My own included. It's easy to be like, wow, look at the cycle of life. Look at how like everything fights for the right to live when it's like not me. And then all of a sudden when it's me or mine, it's like, no, don't die, little bunnies. Like my bunnies, those orgs. My poor bunny exhibit has been traumatized time and time again by hungry orgs, like, breaking in at night. But I really am going to have uh, the rabbit keepers learn some form of martial art because they desperately need the help. All right, now I'm just curious. What's on the other side? Hang on, Sunflower. We're not going to do too much caving or poking. It's just I really want to know... If there's like a, to be honest, I'm really, really curious about if there, ha, I'm really close. Is a spawner. Because spawners mean treasure. Hang on, sunflower. I'm being careful. Whoop. Okay. Well, I wasn't as careful as I thought I was being sunflower. The good news is the penguins will have, oh, someone's firing at me. How? Where? Where'd you even see me from? 
Fascinating. Well, the penguins will have a spot to come and get warm. That's what I was going to say. I hear a skeleton. I'm tempted to gather up some of this lava. Because we always need more of it for what work we do. Come here, fossils. There we go. Better gather these up before the lava, ex like, destroys them. That would always be so sad. Like, the destruction of some, some ancient relic due to lava or some sort of natural disaster like that. Alright, um, so curious, I hear him, somebody shot at me, it was you, whoa, <laughs> well alright, we've definitely got a little mystery to poke at here, I think uh, Sir shoots a lot is going to wander himself right into this lava if he keeps up that attitude, look at that attitude, attitude, this is this attitude, but we'll go ahead, oh can I collect his, his arrow, ah, oh, no I can't, but I think we'll poke around there just a minute because I want to make sure there's no spawners. And then we will continue to gather up more... That's sunflower. That is right. We shall gather up more ice and... Um, look at chicken staring at us over the edge. And a bunch of snow so that we can take those to Mara. And then we will also go get some Dalmatian sunflower, though I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. And then we'll head over to Mara's. We'll make some yummy food, and we will go return her wonderful gift and do what we can with our new animals. So I'm very excited about that, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.